Hello Zero K fans and those interested in Zero K and welcome to this brief tutorial going over how to get started with the game. So you've found Zero K, you've made an account, and you've downloaded the lobby program and now you're presented with a screen similar to this, though considerably less cluttered. You won't need to worry about this right away. Ultimately it will become useful for when you play more games, you'll gain experience, you can unlock things, but right away the first thing you'll want to worry about is settings. In the settings menu, you can change whether or not your resolution is what you want it to be, whether or not you're dealing with something window to borderless window to full screen, and general detail settings. There are also custom detail settings. Do not worry about those at first. The general detail settings will set things up for you based on whatever your machine is. Just experiment a bit until you get a good frame rate, and that should be fine. From here, the Next thing to go to is single player. Within the single player window, you get all these tutorials and simple versus computer missions. You also get some challenge missions in the form of chickens, which come in different difficulties and pit you against waves upon waves of chicken-like monsters trying to kill you. And once you're comfortable with that, you can go over to multiplayer and begin a game. You can either start a game with the pre-made servers that are usually listed as all welcome or newbies only experience only. A good place to start would be a newbies only since that does only allow new players in. 1v1 all welcome also gives a lot of potential to start out to learn or co-op versus AI if you have a friend who knows how to play or if you find someone who's willing to teach you is a great way to learn without too much threat, without having to worry about another player trying to attack you in the meantime. And in order to meet people you can go to the chat window. Now when you are in a battle, one important thing to keep in mind is when you join, you are put into a battle room chat. So your battle has its own room and you are also able to very quickly switch to the other rooms for chatting with other people. Just worth noting, this is a common way people get tripped up, so if you ever leave your battle to go chat somewhere else, just go through the chat tab and you'll find your battle again. And when you want to start, you can simply click the start button and that will start your battle. I'll get to that in a moment. First off, you'll also notice other tabs up here. There's one for the forums, which allows you to see the forums. One for replays, where you can peruse replays of previous players' games and see what they do and see what they've done. You can learn from that, too. It's very handy for those purposes. As well, you can find what maps exist in the game. You can preview them, you can find any comments people may have on them, you just click on any one of them and you get a nice large image that will let you know what that map can do, its texture, its height map, and where its metal placement are, is. And, of course, if people have commented on it, you will have an entire forum thread on that. And there's Planet Wars, which also shouldn't be worried about at first, but is a big team-based large-scale, month-long match across several planets to try to control the universe and ultimately decide the fate of Zero-K single-player mode. Now, on to the game itself. So, once you get in the game, the first thing you'll see is to choose your start position. And once you do so, you can then start the game. Also, what you notice is, very quickly, there are a lot of things on the interface. We'll go over them right now. Top left corner, you have your minimap, which is also very conveniently able to command everything. You can actually control everything through the minimap as if it were the main game. You'll find bottom left corner, the selection menu, as well as your main command interface, which itself has quite a few tabs. So if you want to construct any buildings, you can go through here. Also, if you wanted to construct buildings, you either can right click with your builders or just hit the B button and that'll bring up the gesture menu, allowing you to move around, you move your mouse around, or you press the hotkeys, and that'll bring you over to the various submenus from which you can build other buildings. You'll also see a nice little tutorial setup, which you can just page through if you want to see various bits of advice and how to start the game. You can also turn this off just by hitting the X button. You can turn it on through the menu as well if you want, if you need it back. Very top, you'll find chat and console. So anyone types anything in, that'll come in the chat. Top right, you have your resource bars, and if you hover over them, you get a nice little breakdown of the economy for that resource type, for both energy and metal. Then you have the main menu bar, 
and a short playlist in the bottom right corner, which is more useful in team games for letting you know how to con just send resources over teammates or how they're doing. And the very bottom here is your core selector. As you build things, as you build more factories, they'll be added to it, and your idle workers and commander are also on it, and very easily accessed by hotkey. So to start out, you can, thanks, as you can see this icon here, showing a flashing factory, that indicates that you are able to freely plop down any factory apart from the Strider Hub, and it'll automatically build for free and instantly. Clickybot Factory is a good one to start out with, as is the Shieldbot Factory. And on large flat maps, the Light Vehicle Factory is quite useful. So once you have a factory built up, you can then start building units, you can build builders, you can build basic raiders. There are other units as well, and typically you don't want to build units that are too expensive. A big thing about 0k is there are no tech restrictions, but there are economy restrictions. If you don't have enough money, you can't build units quickly. The speed at which you build units is entirely dependent on the building that's building them. Factories will always build at 10 metal and energy per second, and your income. Right now, 2.4 for or 3.4 for each, and that means once the reserves are exhausted, this can only build at one-third of its normal rate. To rectify this, you can build metal extractors, either by directly placing them or by hitting Q and drawing a circle that allow you to group place metal extractors, which is a very convenient way of setting up the economy. If you want to set up power plants, similarly, you can build power plants by just hitting the button and pressing them down. However, one convenient thing that's particularly convenient for power plants is that you can build them in groups. If you hold down the alt, hold on the shift and alt buttons, you can build them around, or shift control and alt, you build them around a area. If you hold shift and drag, you can create a line of them. Hitting Z and X will allow you to space them out and hitting Alt while doing this allows you to create a box of buildings of any type, not just power generators. Holding control will make it an empty box. And if you hold it on top of a building, it'll construct the box around the building itself. This is particularly useful for power plants around metal extractors because metal extractors, when you have excess energy, will use that excess energy to increase their metal collection rate. This is known as overdrive. It is a useful thing to know in case you're wondering how your opponent may be getting so much metal up they may be using overdrive. And that's about it for the basics of this construction. One thing that may trip new players up that's very useful to know is that space is a modifier key. If you hold space, you get a lot of information for the most part. Space and click on any unit will bring up a small little window with information about that unit, their weapons, their stats, and a short description of them. And if you hold space while building, you can actually build, for example, if we build a metal extractor here, but want to build radar in between, and go over to where radar is. If you hold space, it'll build immediately. So now the commander will build that radar before going to the metal extractor. And if you hold space and shift, it'll build if it's closer. Shift and space cause it to go what's closer. Space just takes priority regardless. Building a radar is also a very wise thing to do at first, though one thing to bear in mind is radar has a shadow. If radar cannot penetrate through an area, cannot see through it, it will not actually get through it. So that is it for the basics of building. And that is essentially it for starting out. So for those of you watching, thank you for watching. And if you are interested in this, please Watch my other 0K cast, subscribe to the channel to know when new 0K games are being broadcast, and subscribe to my Twitch channel to know when the live streams are starting. And thank you once again for watching.